Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in previous video, we worked on a trigger scenario in which we were updating child by parent. And in today's scenario, we are going to do exactly opposite of it. We are going to update parent by child. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Before starting our code, let's understand this scenario first. In today's scenario, we are going to update parent's description by its related context description on update operation. Let's create our trigger. So we want this trigger to be executed after updation of child record. Therefore, we will go with after update event. Now, it is a best practice to write context specific code. Therefore, we will apply a check to ensure that this trigger should only execute only on after update event. Like this. Trigger dot is after. Trigger dot is updated. Now, whatever we will write inside this if condition will only be executed if these both context variable will return true. And these context variable will return true only on after update event. Now let's apply a null check on trigger dot new and let's iterate over it. is empty let's iterate over it now we need to fetch parent account id of the contact on which description is being updated and after fetching parent account id we will store it in a set so let's create a set for that. This is the IDs. So in this set, we are going to store parent account ID. Also, we are fetching the account ID of contact only when description of contact will be updated, not on updation of any other field. And also, when its account ID is not equal to null. So for that, let's apply if condition ID not equals to null. Now to check whether a user updated context description or not, we will use trigger.oldMap to compare old value and new value of description like this. dot id and here we need to give field name and this should not equal to updated description now let's add account id in that set Now we have parent account IDs. Now we want to update accounts field. Therefore, we have to fetch account data and we will fetch it by using SOCAL. Like this. Account. Let's name it ACC map. Count. I'm account. We are using map here because using map is an easy way to avoid SOCAL query inside for loop. Now let's apply a null check over trigger dot new and again iterate over it. is empty let's cite it over it
and by using this trigger dot new we are basically fetching contacts updated data so that we can update parents account description by it now we will update accounts description by contacts description like this let's fetch account from this map Its description will be equal to related contacts description and now it is not a best practice to perform DML inside for loop therefore we will add all accounts which needs to be updated in a list and we will perform DML on it so for that let's create a list first list will be Dated copy this and let's add all accounts in it. Let's apply a null check over it. And perform DML. But there is another important point that this piece of code should only be executed only if this set contains a value. And in this set, we were storing account ID of contact on which user updates the description and also account ID of that contact is not null. So for that, let's apply a check here. And and close this code inside this if condition. Let's save it. Now it's time to check whether our trigger is working fine or not. So to check it, let's go to account. Now this account has a related contact on it. Let's update contacts description. Let's say test trigger description. And click on save. Let's see whether accounts description has also updated or not. Go to details. Okay, our trigger is working fine as account description has updated. That's it for today, guys, and I will be back with more interesting trigger scenario. If you guys have any scenario or suggestion for me, then please comment. I would love to hear feedbacks from you. Thank you.